I'm Jessica McDonald, President and CEO of BC Hydro. There's nothing like working in the energy industry, and in particular, in my case, you know, for an electricity utility. There's just nothing fundamentally more important to people's lives. You know, even quality of life, even the basic needs that people have, you know, just right down to shelter and food, uh, actually need the electricity behind them. And when it when you're talking about uh, economic development, uh, opportunities for you know a jurisdiction to thrive, it all comes down to the strength of reliable, affordable, quality power. Energy planning is, is certainly uh, taking shape in a different way as the world has more and more conversations about shifting to clean, renewable power. And so in British Columbia, it's a very interesting conversation for us as we have a clean capacity backbone with hydropower and we look to integrate more and more intermittents uh, that provide economic opportunity uh, for, uh, for businesses uh, in our jurisdiction, uh, but also give us more diversity in our mix. And so watching the world shift and being part of that in terms of energy trading and planning our own system is a really interesting shift uh, that's a, a long-term conversation for us. There's really interesting opportunities in terms of energy management. Uh, technologies continue to emerge and adapt uh, as we look to serve our customers in ways where they can get access to information that helps them make their choices. And so whether it's, uh, it's in-home usage or, or how, to, how to even uh, shape rates that, uh, that customers can use to, to make decisions about their consumption of power, uh, the technology behind all of that is, uh, is constantly evolving. We've now moved so that we've got, uh, got you know, digital interfaces like many other utilities do where our customers can go on what we call My Hydro and can see their data usage, their consumption on a daily, even an hourly basis. And uh, these are technologies that we'll keep on building on uh, as they're available to, to really improve our, our level of customer service. Uh, electric vehicles and uh, and their take up, uh, you know, within the population is another thing that we're watching very very closely and looking to see how do we provide the solutions so that there's no barriers uh, to that decision being made. Um, how do we look at uh, being part of new building standards and codes, for example, in terms of uh, what people come to expect in terms of their ability to to charge up their vehicles, um, and how we look at the uh, the design and modernization of, of our distribution grid, knowing that we could have of uh, significantly increased loads as a result of you know take up more rapidly in certain communities and as well you know looking in the future at the possibility that electric vehicles that are plugged in you know pretty predictably for example overnight uh, might actually become storage capacity for our system so all of this is very interesting to us at BC Hydro and and provides new opportunities for us to continue to advance Uh, BC Hydro is different in a, in a couple of fundamental ways. So, you know, one is the fact that we are an, in, a fully integrated utility. So this allows us to make choices and be able to plan our system in a way that, that can be more challenging in other uh, parts of the world uh, where there, you've got a piece of the puzzle uh, but not necessarily able to manage uh, the overall picture. That's definitely one thing that, uh, that's, that's different for BC Hydro. Another thing that's very different is the fact that we operate uh, almost entirely clean. You know, last year we generated our highest level of clean resources ever at 98% clean generation. We're mandated uh, to be at least 93% clean and we're also mandated to meet two-thirds of all incremental new demand through conservation measures. Uh, so these are things that really shape our energy planning uh, differently than might occur for a different utility.
Yeah, we were very uh, pleased to find out uh, that we were independently uh, polled as the, the number one most influential brand in our, in our jurisdiction. And, and I really think it comes down to the priorities that we've set for the company. We've been very clear and, and had, a, had a very disciplined, consistent focus on a very short set of clear priorities. Uh, the first one being to make it easy for customers to do business with us. And I think that, along with a tone uh, that backs up the fact that we, we really care about being here for our customers, is, is probably the driving force behind having such an influential brand. But I also think the fact that we operate on a very large scale, we have such a large impact on people's lives and businesses, and that we have such high reliability and, uh, and relative affordability uh, within our system, people appreciate the fact that we operate a clean generation system. And, and these are things that give people confidence that we make choices for the long term and for the overall benefit of our customers. Our ultimate vision uh, as BC Hydro is to be the most innovative, most trusted utility in North America by being smart about power in, in everything that we do. This is our guiding light, it's, uh, it's, the, it's the, the thought that we have in terms of every decision that we make and how we approach everything. So there's uh, a lot of work to do in the future in the system. Uh, we're looking at modernizing our distribution system. Uh, we have significant plans to build and refurbish the system, both in terms of aging infrastructure as well as for a growing population. And uh, as a company, uh, we have to look at every single decision we make in the smartest way possible. Yeah, smart meters have been a huge opportunity for us. Uh, they're now fully installed across our system. Uh, they're giving us great advantages in terms of, for example, outage response, uh, where we, you know, we know through you know, remote data provision, uh, we know exactly where we have our outages. We're able to check remotely whether or not a reconnection has occurred as, as we thought. Um, our own customers are able to access data online to see what's happening in terms of outages that may be occurring in their community. Um, but in addition to that, you know, we've been able to curtail significant amount of theft. Uh, we used to lose tens of millions of dollars in, in theft. We now have actually curbed 80% of theft through our, our smart meters being installed. One of the big emerging challenges, I think, on a global scale is with the uh, emergence of renewables uh, that are being invested in uh, around the world, um, how do you find a clean solution to shaping what's otherwise largely an intermittent resource? And in BC, it's an area that has really received a lot of focus in terms of our energy planning. We want to continue to bring in the intermittent renewables into our system, but we have to make sure that we've got the capacity, and beyond that, clean capacity in order to shape that and still meet our greenhouse gas emission uh, reduction goals. And so one of the big investments that we're making as a jurisdiction is, is building what's called the Site C Clean Energy Project. Uh, it's a 1100 megawatt dam. It's will be the last large dam that we foresee ourselves building. And that will, this will give us not only energy for the future that's clean and renewable, but also clean capacity to help shape future intermittents that are brought into the system.